Hello, everybody. My name is... No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I get sued with that shit all the time, too. Uh, all right. <clears throat> all right, so hello, everybody. My name is Clay. And I'm Scott. And we are back with another lyric check type video. This time, it's my turn to challenge Scott here. So, all right, three artists. Uh, I gave you a couple of these before, but who cares? Jane's Addiction, The Smiths, mm -hmm. Michael Jackson. Uh, I will want to do Michael Jackson, but not tonight. So pocket that one. Okay. Uh, now, are you? Can you give me a hint on the Jane's addiction? No. Am I? Are we gonna fight in the middle of the song? Maybe. Okay. We could reenact it if you want. <laughs> right. I mean, we could ride the wave with the Jane's addiction hashtag right now. So I say we just go ahead and go with Jane's addiction. Hell yeah, let's go. All right. <laughs> I tell you what we'll do. Mm -hmm. right, you don't even want to know the song, so I'll start playing it before I put it up there. So, there we go. but like I said, you're gonna fucking as soon as you hear the first oh, no, note. No, no, no. I'm, I'm, I'm rather excited because 18 to 28 year old Scott was a huge Jane's Addiction fan. Yeah. No, this is a song you know inside and out for fucking sure. Right. Right. Because right? you've listened to this album front to back, mm -hmm. probably on loop a million times in that time frame of your life. Right. I believe it. Okay. So, with that said, here we go. Wait. Did you get it? Do you know what it is? <laughs> Me? Name that tune. All right, here we go. First note, you're going to know what it is. Here we go. <laughs> All right, here we go. Standing in the shower, thinking. Okay. I was standing in the shower thinking. I was standing in the shower I was standing in the shower thinking my bathroom instrument. Really? Yeah. Let me play it for you one more time. My battleground instrument. <laughs> I always thought it was my bathroom instrument, you know, like a about what makes a man. <laughs> oh. Yeah, let me play it again. I still say still it's my it. bathroom <laughs> instrument. <laughs> okay, moving on. Ready? Yeah. Go back. Yep. I figured. How many times have you heard this song in your life? 1.2 million, easily. <laughs> I've danced it. I've sang it. Thing. Apparently, it's not a bathroom instrument, so my world's been fucking rocked. <laughs> Now I barrel for a leader and I'm thinking for an hour. An outlaw or a leader, I'm thinking about power. Okay. Yeah. I was standing in the shower thinking about what makes a man. An outlaw or a leader, I'm thinking about power. I already know right now it's not standing. I'm standing in the shower peeing, so. <laughs> Raise mental music. Say it again. Raise a mental music. The ways a man can use it. Okay. <laughs> a beat destroyed a fabe? Close. Or be destroyed by it. Or be destroyed by it. That's what I said. Yep. <laughs> I'm backing up a little bit. Okay. I always thought water hits my dick and I'm pissing on myself, but does it say <laughs> water hits my neck? The water hits my neck and I'm pissing on myself. I got the pissing right. You got it. Nailed it. Nice. Standing in the shower thinking. Yep. Standing in the shower thinking. What? I'll back it up. I'll go a little further. Sorry. Please. About a man that wrote a byway? <laughs> About a man I know don't like me. Oh, that makes sense. I never would have had that fucking lyric either. Nope. I didn't have that on my Jane's Addiction bingo card. <laughs> like 
He doesn't like to play some gay games. Oh, you're close to the beginning. He don't like the place I'm headed. Some headed. Yeah, okay, next verse. The same place he's headed. Mm-hmm. I know he thinks to do it. Nope, I know he beat me to it. No, he beat me to it. Got it. Mm-hmm. You got me swinging. I'm having a fucking day. Put my evil to it. I know he beat me to it if he could, but he won't do it. Oh, okay. But he would, man, if he could. Fair enough. Yeah. And the water is so fucking hot. The is water it? is so piping hot. It's piping both times. No shit. The water is so piping hot. The water is a piping hot. Water is a piping hot. Hey, you say fuck it. That's on my neck, pissing myself, sitting in the shower. Thank you. Go. This is where they fight on stage. Was this the song they were doing? No, they did uh, Ocean Size. They fought. Fucking song. Eat pie. <laughs> Is that what he said? Doesn't say it. It might be eat pie. <laughs> Did I get one? God, he was like 21 years old when he did this. Yeah. Eat pie. The face. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. No, there's no lyrics here for that part. I don't know. Then why'd you stop it? <laughs> I just want to see what you'd say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Standing in the shower thinking, is my woman Effley Evie? Is my woman afraid of me? No. Oh. Cut off to my Houston. She's seen how far I've twisted. Wait, I'm she just didn't fucking. Huh, uh. <laughs> Wait, she's seen how far I've twisted, but it's just because I can trust her. <sighs> never associate she never she stood in so associate and ever since we met she understood and so she let so it's like he ends that verse in the middle of a sentence she understood and so she let me twist her good man i twist her good Hmm. All right. Poor Casey. That's pretty much it. We're riding it out. The water's piping hot.
I mean, it makes you really appreciate what mind-blowing musicians they were in their young 20s. Yeah, dude. Like, holy crap. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm with you. They were definitely one of my favorite bands for a long time, yeah. you know? I mean, right around the time of, well, this album, and then I was a fan of them during uh, uh, Nothing Shocking, and then right into, like, Ritual. Like, like when Ritual came out, I remember that album coming out. And then Lollapalooza, you know, for the first time, going to see them in 91. They, it was really, really great. It's a shame that they're fucking, f like, I think that's it. Like, I don't know how you recover from fucking Perry fighting with everybody on stage and then the awkward apology and like, ugh. Well, there was, there was also the, you know, somebody wrote up. Who was it that wrote up? It was like, you know, he had his issues, but the band had their issues type. Oh, that was that his letter. wife. Yeah, yeah. Eddie. Yeah. And then the band wrote like, yeah, nope, that, that, that wasn't it. Yeah, they're like, yeah, no, we're worried about our safety on stage. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. So like, that's it. But that sucks too. Like, because if you like had tickets to see them, you would have been psyched, you know? Well, that was the thing. I heard the New York shows were just like the music was mind blowing. And, yeah. and they were playing and they had Love and Rockets opening for them. It's pretty cool. No shit. Yeah, so that whole thing got fucking canceled. So like, Love and Rockets are like fucked too. So that's because that. that was their like reboot. Because I haven't heard much from them lately. That no. could have been them coming right back into the main swing again. Who knows? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, gross, right? Well, whatever. Yeah, but fucking powerhouse back in the '90s, man, for sure, man. That band was fucking crazy. Yeah. Good shit. <laughs> Didn't know a single lyric. <laughs> <laughs>